What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. We got to feed my friend Jerry. Jerry, your eyes looking pretty good, buddy. I'm not sure if you can see. How many fingers are you holding up, Jerry? Come on. Oh, okay. Yeah. What up, big boy? Hi, big boy Ralph. How you doing? You want some grain, pal? It's going to be a warm one today. It's going to be 105. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah 105, folks. It's going to be a steamy one. All these animals here are wanting some of that grain. So we're going to give them some grain. And I got to hit them with some fly spray. These flies are just... I've been hitting them with fly spray every single morning. And they don't stop, folks. The flies don't stop. It's just crazy. Last year, I remember flies last year. I just don't remember it being quite this bad. I'm going to go get kids some fly spray. And he, but, but yeah, the fly traps are loaded. We put some fly traps. Things got 40,000 flies. And we've got like 15 of them. They're all loaded. There's all a bunch in the barn. We've got a ton of fly traps. We've been loading them up with the fly spray, and the flies are still getting to them. So we're going to hit them again, give them a quick little spray, get them fed. We do have an exciting video for you guys today, though. We are going down to the ranch, and well, actually, a couple things are happening. We do have some... Carol, I'm doing the intro. Calm down, buddy. We've got some hunting blinds, new ones, deer ones that we're going to have to pick up. But the big thing is I got a new tractor, folks. I know what you're, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I can already see it. But Flair, you already had a tractor that you sold, so why are you buying another one? Listen, buddy, that sucker was a great little farm utility tractor. Just a little homestead guy. But you couldn't pick up a bale of hay. You couldn't really mow a bunch of grass. You couldn't plant crops, for sure. You couldn't plant your food plots with it. Well, you could, but it's, it's it was a little on the small size. For what I needed it for last year, it was great. We were able to mow, we were able to do, you know, spray a little bit of gravel here and there and do some chores. But then I kind of stopped using because I got the skid loader, right? The skid loader's way better at those chores of like spreading gravel. And then we got the bush hog on it, so we cut it. But now I'm like, well, we've got the ranch and it's not super close to my house. It's kind of a pain to travel with the skid loader all the time because we need the skid loader here to give them bales of hay. So we're, we've been constantly driving the skid loader back and forth and it's, it's a pain. It's a big, big rig to haul. And then we started thinking, we're like, well, you could also use a tractor for all the other stuff, you know, brush grappling mowing, all the chores, like, you know, moving those pallets of feed, all that stuff. On top of that, you can do the food plots with it. And we do have the all-in-one little planting system coming for a four-wheeler. It's, that's good for, like, smaller plots. Bigger plots, a tractor would be nicer. Anyways, basically, I'm trying to justify myself purchasing a $100,000 tractor, and essentially, it's just because we need something that's more, has a little bit more beefcake than our previous tractor. I don't regret selling this one. This one's big mamma jamma. It's a legitimate tractor. You could actually go plant an entire cornfield with if you wanted to but it'll allow us to really develop the ranch properly because we do have the skid loader still which is great i love the skid loader honestly i like the skid loader more than i like tractors um i think they're way better but in certain applications tractors are a little bit more spear so anyways that is the plan tractors should be getting delivered hopefully in a couple hours here and like i said then we got to pick up some hunting blinds but anyway sorry I, I i had to get the jerry i had to get the intro done you know the rules okay let's get these guys fed what up felicia how you doing buddy with some of that grain, pal? Quattro, hey, how about you go over there, Quattro? Leave everybody else alone. All right, come on. Look, they knocked down all their little... Their, look, look, they broke... All your guys' little feed bins are broken. How am I supposed to feed you? Look at Carol waiting so patiently. Carol, I'm coming, pal. You want some of that grain? Get some of that grain, buddy. Let me see... Look at that tongue. You see that tongue? She's a beast. What you think, pal? You having a good time? Oh, Rick, hang on. Hang on, Rick. Hey, Carol, give me the bucket. Carol, give me the bucket. Carol, here you go. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Over here. All right, I'll switch you, Banjo. Banjo's got the fly spray ready. You just keep occupying the animals and distracting them. We upgraded, folks. We got a legitimate chemical sprayer. You need to put on jet mode. Oh, oh, there it is. Here you go, Carol. See, now we got some PSI behind it, and I can actually get a little bit of distance. Pedro, you want to squirt? You want to squirt? No, flies don't bother you, Pedro. Quattro, you want to squirt, buddy? I don't want, I don't, put your head down. I ain't trying to get in your eye. This thing's the deal. This is definitely the move. Before I bought like the little pump ones that come with it. This actually like has the range and distance. Oh, llama's coming. Hang on, llama. Let me get you some of that. Squirt, squirt. Oh, she already knows. Piggy, you need some? Here you go, buddy. Big Jerry, I see a fly on you right now. Let me get that guy. All right, llama's ready. Llama's feeling it? All right, sneak attack. Oh, there we go. They usually get it pretty bad around their feet, in like their belly area. That's what the vet told me last time he was here. So. See, Ralph likes it though. He'll just stand there and take it. Ralph ain't hard to get. They get up around his ears too, so I try to get all over Ralph. They always bug Big Daddy Ralph. How's that feel, buddy? There you go. No flies on our watch. All right, we got all the donkeys right here. 
I know, I know, you don't like it. Listen, it's for your own good. Here you go, Carlos. Carlos, I know you've been getting it. I need to get Carol one more time. Steve, that ain't happening. We ain't getting Steve, but we get Rick, Rick and Dale over here might be good. Here you go, buddy. Get you a little more. Try to get some around your ears without blasting you too bad. I know that probably tickles, sorry. Try not to get it in your eye. We'll get Big Daddy Ralph pretty good. He likes it. There you go. Dale, get some fly spray, Dale. Here you go, pal. No flies today. I forgot, we gotta get his cast off this week. Dale, it's your big day. No, not today. Within like the next week or so, we should be able to get his cast off. Hopefully it's fixed. He, well, he snapped his femur or something. Is that your leg, the femur? Yeah, I think it's like, I don't know. Is, is your femur in your leg? Yeah. It's like your shin or something. Yeah, I think. we'll call it, we'll I call it. it's the front one. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll call it his femur, yeah. Big Daddy Rick, come get some spray, buddy. I know you don't like it, I'm sorry. All right, Carol, one more, one more. There you go. Greg, you want some squirt? <laughs> Nah, they ain't, they ain't bothering Greg. All right, well, everything is sprayed, fed, taken care of, folks. It is time to head down to the ranch. We are first gonna make a stop and pick up the new hunting blinds. And then we're gonna haul them to the ranch, unload them. I don't know what time the tractor's supposed to be here. They're supposed to call me. But we got a full-blown, mainly tractor, Banjo. I wanna see you drive this stuff. Really? Yeah, I wanna see you rip around and do big tractor things. You got a tractor. You drive yours very often? A little bit. A little bit. I don't have the cab and the AC and see, the, the bougie features. You, you, you see, it's 105 today, so this is when I appreciate spending the extra Extra, I don't even want to know how much money the cab was. You know what it has? It's got the little kid jumper seat so you can sit there with me and watch. Oh yes, yeah. I'm in that seat so, like, all the time. Banjo can sit there and ride That's shoddy me. and just like sit there while I'm just like cruising around. So we, I, I got the little jumper seat so Banjo can, can ride yeah. along yeah. with us. So anyways, with that being said, we'll see you guys down at the ranch. Shoo! We made it to the ranch, ladies and gentlemen, and we picked up a package right on our way. One of my buddies here, Chris, he hooked it up good with some deer hunting blinds. We got the trailer loaded up, and this is what they are. What bam Look at those guys. Two mega hard-sided deer hunting blinds. These are giant. They could fit like three beefcakes. So we got to load up on the trailer. We also have a waterfowl blind, a waterfowl hunting blind. It's got a soft-sided duck blind, and so that's not obviously for the ranch, but it kind of came, came from the same place. So we got the whole trailer loaded up this morning. We didn't film anything just because we are on the move, but we will take these off the trailer, give you guys a little tour. Right now, we've got about an hour and a half-ish before the tractor gets here, but we got some blinds. This is kind of phase one. We've got some more of these style blinds coming, couple tree stands coming, couple more feeders coming. We've got a whole bunch of stuff on order for deer hunting, but this was the first arrival, folks. Believe it or not, I have never hunted in a hard blind like this, and we've got 10 foot stands. So that's what all these big packaging things are. You're 10 feet up there. Think about a basketball hoop. Your feet are where the rim is, and then you're above it. So you're up there 16 foot, 15 foot. And these are for rifle and for bow. There's little bow windows here as well. So anyways, enough talking. We're gonna get these suckers offloaded, unloaded. I think we're just gonna set them over in the grass for now. We're not gonna put them up for a while. It is hot. It's literally 105. We broke the record. It hasn't been this hot for like 20 something years here. <sighs> not the day to be building deer blinds. But we picked them up we'll set them off maybe when it cools off in a couple weeks we'll find a couple cool places like i said this is just two of them i'm planning on putting probably at least four to maybe six of these across the ranch and i know it's bougie okay and i think is i've never hunted in one i've only hunted in them little pop-up tents which were cool until it starts getting cold and then it's like well crap it's kind of cold out here these you can put heaters in there and whatnot these are like the bougiest deer hunting blinds i've ever darn seen so let's get them unloaded you want to push right here yeah, wait for Papa to get the cake. Wow. Yeah, the shorter ones are heavier. Oh my gosh. You took a day off. Yeah, true. <laughs> you had a rest day. All right, we're sore. You guys ready? Yep. Down right here? Yep, we're good. Get your fingers out. <laughs> there goes the back. Put some ass into it. Yeah, I know. I need to put the Crocs in four wheel. Hey, what are you doing? Let's just try there we go. Okay, yep. <sighs> this is why we're getting the tractor. I'm sweating. My back is just gone. This one you think? Easy? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. The truck feels so good. It's ice cold in there. This is brutal. This is bad. This is so bad. I've never had heat stroke, but today might be the day. You gotta get that AC tractor in there. Back here. Uh, maybe walk it further back, just so we're maybe along this back hole here. Yep. It's nice and out of the way until we need it. I can get this long guy. My crap. 
Crocs are so slippery because I'm sweaty so much. Yeah. There's only two of them, and we haven't even put them up yet. What's idea was this? I didn't know I could sweat this much. It reminds me when I was in Brazil. You're just wet all the time. Like it doesn't, you're just wet. You'd be less wet if you took a shower, right? Watch your hand. Did that get you? Yeah, a little bit, not so bad. That's oh, I'm alive, but I'm dead. You know that TikTok? Dude, our I always, for you page is not the same. I what, never what is your for you page? Is more yeah. the same. Just I'm alive, I don't know what this I'm alive is. but I'm dead. You know, you, know, you heard that one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. see, Banjo. Maybe I just don't watch TikToks as much as you guys. I do watch TikToks every once in a while, like an hour every night, like if I'm like before bed or chilling. Anyways, I'm alive but I'm dead because I'm so uh, tired. But this is the blind foot. No. That's the blind, folks. Shoo! Oh, it's gonna be so hot in here. Oh, this one's mine. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah, show them. Look, we got, he gave us a little banjo. Shout this, out to Chris's kid. This is Banjo's blind, so they, they hung a banjo for Banjo. <laughs> this is what the blind looks like. It's a sweat box right now, but you've got your rifle shooting, and then that's for your bow shooting right there. But look at him with the cup holders, some rings, some storage, and like all these little rest areas. Yeah, let's see it. Open her up. Look at that. Sheesh. What? Well, bam. You oh, can see it's yeah. pretty darn big. Look at this. I mean, three beef cakes in here is no problem. This was the biggest one that they made. So this is kind of what the inside of it looks like. We're thinking maybe future video. What if we like decked it out? Put like a TV here or something like that. PlayStation. Made like a man cave out of one of these. If you guys think that's a cool video idea, let me know. What do you think? Dude, it's so hot in here. You thought it's hot outside? That's like 40 degrees hotter. That feels like a sauna. These things are awesome though. This is the first two of an arsenal. We've got a few different ones coming, like not these exact same ones. But these came with 10 foot stands. So, I mean, they're up there. Pretty, pretty darn tall. I think we should do a challenge. Who can stay in there the longest? Dude, I'm like, I'm like out of breath from just being in there because like you can't breathe without hot. Like it literally feels like a sauna. So like I said, we got two of them. We've never used them before. So, I mean, if we like them, we'll let you know. If they suck, we'll let you know. But I mean, first impressions, I feel like it can't be any worse than the tent blinds we've been using over the last few years. So this is the first time I've never even been in one in, until today, let alone hunt out of one. So I'm super excited. It should be cool. Like I said, being able to go in there, turn a heater on. That means we can like the more comfortable we are the more deer hunting we're going to want to do meaning the more deer hunting videos you guys are going to get and the more deer we're going to harvest and make into jerky and all sorts of good catch clean cook so it's like it's an investment okay we buy these so we spend more time that way you're not cold it's not nothing's worse than sitting in one of them little tent blinds when it's blowing 40 mile an hour and it's 20 degrees and snowing you ain't sitting in that but this you could do year-round hunts in that late season buck hunting could be done in that rifle or bow so Early we get a little season, bit you can put a fan in there yeah what if you put like a little window ac unit that like blue cold air that like a little battery one we got to make these bougie folks we're gonna make some bougie blinds okay bougie beefcake blinds that is gonna be the plan so you can see we got two of my figured we'd document just because it was a work day out here um, but we haven't gotten to the good part folks we still have the tractor right now Got about 25-ish minutes or so before the tractor's supposed to roll through town. We're gonna go into town and guide them back to the ranch so they don't have to actually like try to find this place because it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. We'll show it to you. And then I think my buddy Kirk is gonna be coming, I think. I still need to call him and confirm, but he might come out and help us, you know, kind of navigate the, the ways of the tractor. Tractor's super foreign to me. There's so many more gadgets and gizmos than like a skid loader. There's like 37 gears or something. So with that being said, there's our two blinds. Let's go get the tractor. Look at the tractor, folks. Well, it's taking delivery here. I think I gotta drive this sucker off. I'm kind of scared. Look at the tires. That's a big boy. This is Big Daddy, son. See, I told you we stepped up from last year's or the first tractor I got. This one ain't messing around, Banjo. Yeah. It's worth I'd a say lot so. more, so hopefully don't, you know, don't try to pop wheels don't in this one. Don't let me drive it. Yeah, I'm not driving. No, it's Banjo's not, driving, no, driving no, it today. little kid's seat, that's what I'm saying. Banjo's got, there's a little kid's seat. That's what I'm saying. Banjo's gotta be driving no, it today. No, no. It's kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've operated big excavators and I'm way better at that. Like I test drove this thing. I almost crashed it like every second. There's obviously a gas pedal, but like you put it in gear and it goes. You know, it's not oh, like yeah. it's not it doesn't stop like a car. You have to put it in neutral to stop it. When you put it in forward, you're just gone. It's sketch. My buddy Kirk, who's the hay plug, he always brings my hay. He's a big farm guy. He actually doesn't live that far from the ranch. So he's actually gonna come up and show us how to use it today. Because the delivery driver, he's just on delivery duty. He ain't on he ain't on uh training duty. Training duty. But yeah, Kirk, he's he gave us Pedro, which honestly you can take him back. We should have brought him because Pedro's a little, he's a jerk for lack of better words. But tractor's here. Like I said, Kirk's gonna come on and show us how to use it. And then there's a mower attached to it as well. So we can do some mowing today. Good news, it's AC'd. Banjo can sit in the kids. Do you think we can go three deep in there? I don't know. You can sit on my shoulders. The cab's tall. I'm up there messing with the AC and it's up there, son. Huh. Anyways, driver looks like he's doing driver things. We're getting unhooked and unloaded. I haven't been this excited for a piece of equipment. I will probably hate it because I hate tractors. I think they're- Oh, we better get out of the road. Oh. 
Oh, we, oh, what's it? he, what's he think he's doing? Oh God, this, we're about to watch some dude go off in the ditch. So we got two semi trucks trying to go down a gravel road. This ain't like a lottery. My mower's sticking out pretty good. Yikes. Shoot, he didn't give him two craps about that. Should we ask the driver ask, if he wants to unload ask it? Ask Chip if he'll do it. Ch his buddy, it says, his name says Chippy on the window. Big, he's big Chip guy. I'll see if Chippy can unload it. He's gonna it. do it, I guarantee you. Nah, he's got, he's got. You want me to undo this? Okay, I'll do it. I'll help you out. I don't think you're supposed to sit under one of these things. OSHA approved. That thing shut off yet. Do you say what? You don't like you that thing? that damn camera shut off yet. What? No, you don't want to be on camera, Chip? No! What's your name, Greg or Chip? Huh? Chippy or Greg? Or both? Chippy's my nickname. I'll call you That's Chippy. That's what I go by. Chippy, are you, gonna, are you gonna unload this for us? Can you back it off? Yeah. Oh, okay, oh, cool. Perfect. I'm not very good at driving tractor, so I don't make sure. <laughs> I bought it, but I gotta get. I gotta learn. You want to teach us? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you unload it, if you unload it, I can. Not on camera, I'm not. No. <laughs> if you unload it, I think I can take it from there. I just don't want to break your trailer, you know. I believe in you, Chippy. Jump in, buddy. Shoo! Burn a tractor, son. The banshee moving my truck. He's making friends with Chippy over there. All right. Let's see if I remember how to do this sucker. So that's the clutch. You brake. Yes. He probably put it in park, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. There we go. I'm in neutral. Yeah, I'm in second. Yep. Okay, we found it. Didn't N mean neutral? Yeah, it came out when you just bumped it up. It's, it went to F when you pushed it oh, up. Oh, that's, oh, okay. Yeah, that's your forward. Got it. Oh, we got it. See you later, Chip. Sheesh. See, I don't mind the summer shores in this. Oh, like, I yeah. would go plant all the food plots in the world if I was in this sucker all day. They definitely got to give me a radio, right? Really? You pay $100,000 and they don't give you a boom what? box? No boom box? Really? No boom box for 100 Gs, eh? Got it. Oh, gosh. I can't wait to see Banjo operate this thing. Oh, yeah. Sheesh. So I think this thing has, it has like 37 gears or something really? stupid. Yeah, like. Oh, yeah, I remember you saying something. It's like A, B, that. C, and D, one, two, three, four, and then like other little buttons here, like rabbit and turtle buttons and all sorts of buttons. This is epic, though. It's so cool in here. Like, oh, yeah. we just got to vlog inside this. Like, oh, we're, not getting, we're not getting out the rest of the day. This is so sick. Well, we got the tractor, driving it up, pulling up to the ranch, and we'll get the guys a full tour. Stay tuned. What do you think? You missed it. This is eight, the AC is in here. Dude, look how many, look how many buttons. What? It, look, one, one through nine. Okay. Rabbit to turtle. Rabbit mode. You know a lot about one, that. One, two, three. Really? <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three, four. A, B, C, and D. This is why Kirk's coming. Huh? I don't even know how did. And then you got this is the bucket. And then you got the third function. We can get like a little grapple on here. But what do you think? You like this thing? Yeah. What was, what was your butt? You made friends. Yeah. Chippy. Chippy talked to me for about five minutes what? afterwards. He was like, he was not liking the camera, obviously, right? Chip, listen, Chip. So Chip, it'll be all right. He goes, I've been filmed more, uh, more than you want to know. And I was like, what? Chip, what kind of? I was of, like, what's that mean? What Chippy? kind of industry were you in? Chip? Yeah. And he goes, you don't want to know. No. Chip. I'm not gonna say it, but like, I don't know. Chip. All right, we'll let you draw your uncle loose. We're not trying to slander Chip's name. Chip's a good guy. But tractor is here. You could fit a lot. We were saying you could even stand right there. We got three beefcakes running deep. That would be all in the AC when we're ripping around here. You think so? Yeah, you, so you got it. Oh, you need to be taller. No, no, no. You got it. This is... What, what, oh, is this the boom box? Dude, they what, didn't give what? me a radio for 100 grand. Can you believe that? What? What's the strat there? Come on. Is that I mean, where it's supposed granted, to go? Granted, I've got Raycons, but, you know. Is that where it's supposed to go? I don't... What else would that... What else would that be? That's normally where they're at in a tractor. It's right there. But there's nothing in it. So a twenty-five dollar radio. There's like nah, extra. Got it. Huh? Is it got a horn on it? No. No, this thing it it does oh, it does oh, one, it does that's one, cool. it does one of them guys. I saw him do that. So yeah, you got Ford neutral reverse. I don't know. Any there's some lights over here probably some windshield wiper turn signals. Yep, turn oh signals. My goodness. I mean, like you've got storage. This seat's the deal, by the way. You like that? It's pretty seat? comfortable. Really? Yeah. Just for like a little kid jumper seat. Ooh, look at this. Banjo can start taking dates out here on the ranch. Whoa! You. And you and your Banjo Tinder like, dates. Hey. Banjo goes, hey, let's go drive the track. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? Well, this is it. All right, so we need, yeah, I don't, I can't, I feel like I can't give a proper walk around because I don't know nothing about it. Other than it's got some AC, it's got some heat. Uh, we don't think it has a radio. It's a little visor. It's cool, I guess. But I guess we can get out and check out the mower. We haven't really looked at that yet, so let's go see you out in the back. Look at that. Okay, so no, I take it back. Didn't give me a radio, but they gave me a toolbox. So, I mean, that's got to be worth something. At least I keep my wrenches or something in there. And then we've got diesel. See, I, I give them props. Good access. Yeah. Easy. I'm all about the easy access. Okay. And then I just can't believe that big the tires are. These things are, I'll probably still get this sucker stuck and rolled. Look at the mower. 10 footer, son. This is going to mow some grass. So see, this is all the spots. One pass and you can mow this. Yeah. 
Like, you, no more zero turn. You just run the tractor all the way up and down around. You can't really get like the tight areas, but like, give me like five minutes. I could pretty much have the whole ranch mode as far as like what we we need to yeah. have mode. Nice. Um, so, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. 10 footer, PTO driven. Um, I had one that was similar to this, but I think mine was like five foot, four and a half foot. It's got the tires that don't pop. Chip That's important. Pissed this wasn't a quick connect. I don't know what that means. What's a quick connect mean? I don't know. Is that not like a three point? He was like, man, this will be so much better if they give you the quick attachment. And I was like, yeah, uh-huh, I agree. Wait. I have no clue. Oh, wait, it's not. It's all these. Oh, what the, what the heck? Why didn't they get the quick attach three point? Oh, so this isn't the three? <sighs> no, it, it's three point, but it's not. So you have to pull the pins one, and slide. That one's not hard. Two. No, you, I think you would leave, you would leave this one, I think, right? It, but like to get this off, you have to pull it and then it has to slide out. My other one, you just like went in and pulled like yeah. that's gonna be a I remember what was it with your old tractor like we had to it get went, it, exactly. it wouldn't line up yeah th and that is a problem maybe maybe these are like better at lining I don't know I, I mean yeah see this is why we have Kirk coming because oh, yeah. I, I'd, br I'd break <laughs> windshield something wiper. windshield wiper fluid yeah you got one on the back I mean this is this whole thing's got everything you need lots of horsepower really 90 nice horsepower lights. we got some nice lights we can rip around at night which we never probably gonna ever do I think this thing has the power in it like I said it's got three hydraulic lines that run to the front so you could use a grapple obviously a bucket forks all that type of stuff mo and this is gonna be what we're gonna use for food plots like I said although I I do have an all-in-one coming for the ATV for bigger areas like we have here, like a, a two, three, four, five acre plot. This is gonna cut the time way down. And we were talking to Chris, who is the one who delivered our blinds, and he was saying he's got a tiller, like a PTO driven tiller that'll just like you know disc up the ground so it's you don't have to worry about like the weight of the discs doing it because then you have to make like three passes. So we may even see if we could borrow that for a day to he get it all chopped up. You can put on your bucket a, spray a sprayer, yeah. I can't believe so that you mow it and spray yeah. it at the same time. Yeah, that sounds like yeah, that's how, that, that sounds like way we easier. Won't flip an ATV. No. I won't flip an ATV. Yeah, either. see, we got this for Banjo. This is pretty much for Banjo. So I don't have to do anything, actually. Yeah, yeah. And now you can sit shoddy and Big super supervise. Up on my AirPods, yeah, see, man. you can sit in the little kid seat yeah. on your. And now I can listen, make sure you're doing business meetings correctly, yeah. and I can sit here and mow. And I don't know what else we're gonna do with this thing. I mean, the the options are somewhat limitless. Like I said, I love a skid loader. I am by far more fans of skid loader. I mean, it was crazy. A skid loader was cheaper than this. That's that's another thing that's kind of blows my mind about this. Yeah, tractors, they're not cheap. This is one of the bougier ones, though, folks. Okay, so this is a fifty ninety. M, which M is like, I don't even know what you get, but it's like 20 grand more than an E, okay? So I try to go for an E. And the problem is there's no tractors for sale right now. Like it's just like the trucks and anything else because of COVID. So this was one that was here. It was ready. It was local. And like, again, we were kind of in a time crunch, right? Like we're about to start playing food plots here in the next month or so. So I didn't have time to really wait for another tractor to come in potentially. I bid it, spent the extra money, but you get more bang for your buck. Okay. You get, you know, the loaders a little heavier duty. It's a four cylinder instead of a three cylinder, like everything on its beef ear beefcake edition is what they should call it instead of an m it should be bc beefcake edition because everything's just a little more stout and you know idiot proof which is always good for me so anyways here is the new tractor folks in all its glory we're gonna wait for kirk to come before we start ripping it around he can give you guys more of a, a lowdown on it and then we are gonna jump in it and mow some grass and do some stuff so stay tuned Shee! what do you think it's not bad not bad I, hey i'll take it so you're a tractor expert local tracker ex expert duty slash hay plug oh i already yeah <laughs> i dangled i got a branch stuck in there so what 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 do i what, what part of this will kill me like what do i need to know like i mean you don't have to go super in depth but whatever you would be like yeah i could definitely see flair messing that up so let me just go ahead and i think you're low on air huh yeah what how did why would they give it to me low on air you give uh, somebody a hundred thousand dollars you'd think they'd give you air you know uh, is that too hard to ask you would think is like does a normal air compressor fill that sucker no sick i gotta go buy an air compressor. Need a bigger air compressor oh so i'm gonna go to get an air compressor too got it okay yeah. that makes sense yeah okay how much air does this thing hold only like maybe 15 pounds oh really yeah. so it's not like crazy i mean yeah i guess you're yeah. right it does look kind of like is it is it too low to like rip around for like a you're fine. Oh, okay okay but just in general it's take low. it down the highway got it okay sick chalk that up they didn't give me a radio either that's sweet oh, i thought that would come if you, know, you give somebody a hundred thousand dollars but like no, no 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 you pay for the air and you pay for the radio okay no uh slow moving sign or nothing no oh, what slow move these guys jip me i think i got robbed what do you think about the mower is the mower is decent because you have the one that like folds, folds up down, down. i thought about that is this a better move or is this a worse move uh, i mean this was also good, like ten thousand dollars so i hope it's a good move it's a good move yeah because you, you got a three point yeah so oh is yours just a drag behind, pull behind yeah. see i think three points be good because you can like lift it up and get it kind of out of the way yeah. right but it didn't mow quite as much like loading it on, if you load it on a trailer and take it to your house yeah if it was a pole type yep it can be a little harder to get up on okay so this is a little better for yeah. something like that okay so mower you're giving the mower thumbs up yeah okay good okay question the uh what was it chippy 
Chippy. Chippy was our delivery guy. First off, interesting okay. fella. Second off, he was complaining that this didn't have a quick attachment. It it, did that? Did I get screwed on that, or is that not a big deal? Um, you can buy a quick attach. Is it worth it? My other tractor did, right? It's where you go under, you just like flip yeah. the levers. So is this thing kind of a pain to like undo, so or not really? It's not. It's not a one size fit all thing. Okay. So it's a oh because I had issues with mine. Yeah. Where like that was our problem. Yeah, we hated that because you had to move. You had to right? adjust things all so, the time. Yep. Well, so this one, easy. it just slides in. Put it back on. Is that easy, or is that gonna take a while? It's us. pretty easy. Okay, so you yeah, think it's better? It. We'll do it. Okay, yeah, let's. let's oh, it. I'm down. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's see. Okay, how do you? So, do I need to yeah, lower do it down? Let's go on level ground first. All right, let's get to level ground. Please, yeah. right here. Oh, oh, raise and lower. She okay, okay. I'll give you props, John Deere. You did it right there. Normally, that, makes, that wouldn't. That makes. Normal. Oh, really? So that's yeah. boots. That's why I paid an extra twenty grand for the M instead of the E symbol. Got it. Now, if it was an E, that yeah. wouldn't happen. That's why I pay extra money. No radio, no tires pressure, okay? But we got a butt. Now, sometimes you might want to put a piece of wood up underneath there yep. so it don't sink in the ground. Okay. So two arms. Be harder to get down. Now. Okay, got it. Come in here. Yep. Pull those out. Okay. So those there yep. stop it from going side to side. Got it. You go ahead and kick that. Give her, give her a good old kick. Whoa! No, this is not Croc certified. And you said this was easier? Yeah, you might have pain in there. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, there's some paint. paint there. So would it be smart to put like a little something in there or not? Really? Some, maybe some grease would help. A little, a little grease, okay. Now, here's another trick. When you go, and we don't have to completely unhook it. Yeah. But we'll, I'll show you on this. Yeah. And like you roll rack just a little bit. Yeah. But when you go to hook it up, okay. pull this up right here, okay. that comes out. Oh. So you don't have to be perfect. Yeah, not, you can adjust it. You, you got some float. Much room to, oh, look at all this. This is fancy. Okay. Okay, that's better. That's better. So, so you have to go forward, forward though. Can we go forward just a little bit? Yeah, it's always good to get close, but be further ahead because you can pull those up and pull them out. Back. Okay. Right. Omar? So this will be your prime example of being close. See, so you're close. Yep. You pull that out. Yep. There's no way I would have figured this out. And everything's new, like that paint in there. Yeah. Eventually, then we'll roll really okay, easy. Okay. Get her close. Get your pen down in it. And, and yeah. now leave that, but when you raise it up, it should click down. Oh, it's close. There you go. Perfect. That would take me years to figure out. Yeah. Okay. I remember doing that on the other right tractor. It needs grease. It needs grease. Yeah, they got some like, WD-40 in there, but it needs grease. Okay. Uh, Glad they gave this to me ready to rock and roll. It's yeah. good. Yeah, good thing you got two. Does that help? What's that for? So, like on our batwing mower, yeah. I got to have a set of hydraulics to raise and lower it. Yep. I need another set of hydraulics to open and close Oh, so you, got, you need two hydraulic lines. Yeah. We already have that. Yeah. In case I ever get turned into Batman and need a bigger mower, they well, got me covered. Even if you get a sprayer, it's like opening it booms up. Oh. So it booms. Yeah, I need to talk to you about a sprayer. We got to get a sprayer figured out over here, too. Well, at least I kind of know how to take this thing apart. I don't know how to drive this thing at all. I can barely make it move, so we probably shouldn't do that. All right. We're climbing in. All right. Do not run out of death. Do not run out of death. What no, happens no. there? Bad deals? Voyage warranty. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I see this is all good intel. Half. Above half at all times. Okay. I have no idea. Like, there's like a 27 gears over there. There's one, two, three, four, A, B, C, and D. There's some rabbit buttons. And then I have no idea what any of that stuff on over there does. So this is oh, why didn't I know that? So I've been running in turtle mode this whole time. Yeah. I could have been ripping around. Well, folks, it is the next day. We had some technical difficulties with the camera. And while Kirk showed me, or showed you guys a little bit, but then once the camera just got KO'd, he showed me the rest. So I think I know how to run this beast, potentially. So we are going to try to mow a little bit of grass today. Look at that sucker. What a beautiful looking tractor. We are back at the ranch. It is super nice out here. It's not hot. Yesterday, it was 110. Now it's like 85. So it feels a lot better. But we're going to get running this. I mean, he pretty much showed me how to use it. If you guys want to learn how to use these tractors you probably should go to the dealer or like watch different videos i'm not going to walk over everything but he kind of showed me the do's the don'ts this will kill you this won't you know all the important things in life banjo's not here he's decided he's going to go on vacation again he's but he goes on vacation about every two days but we are going to try to get some mowing done since that's why we got this thing we don't really need to mow much of this though i mean it's this is a little bit long but it's probably a little easier with like the old zero turn but i am going to try and mow actually i might now that i think about it i might try to mow by that feeder over there maybe like mow them a path just like all the way down flip mow a little bit around that feeder and then back and then what we're probably gonna do is run our trail down to the pond well it doesn't really exist anymore it's overgrown last time i mowed it was with the skid loader when we took out the fence that was like a month or two ago so i'm gonna try to get this thing down to the pond i can't go this way i'm gonna have to go back through the gate so it's gonna be a little sketchy i mean it's an atv trail it ain't the widest sucker and that mower's 10 foot wide so i might 
hit some logs, trees, stumps, break some stuff. That's kind of just what I assume is gonna happen anyways. But ideally, if I can get this thing down to the pond, there's a nice little flat area, as long as it's not too wet, and it shouldn't be because it's been really dry. We haven't got much rain. And I'm gonna mow right around the pond to give us a place to do some camping videos. We wanted to camp there. Actually, when Zach and I came out here, we camped on the dam, but we wanted to camp next to the pond, but the grass was too long. So we're gonna try to go mow just a little bit. Again, just try to get used to this sucker. She's a big, mean mamma jamma. I'm not used to the old tractor driving. I'm, I'm decent with the skid loader, excavator. Tractors are a little bit more challenging for me to operate. So today's objective is just cruise around, get used to the tractor, and mow some grass. Stay tuned. Shoo! Forget how big this sucker is. See if she starts. I don't see any mouse poop, so that's good. We didn't park it in the shop for a reason because that's just filled with the mice. Oh, remember? Now it's supposed to turn off the AC, Kirk said, so can't be doing that. Huh? Am I, mi am I missing something? Is it in park? Neutral? She's in park, and it's in neutral. No. There's no, how can it die right away? There's no way. I hate tractors. My other tractor did this too. I'm trying to think of all the reasons why it wouldn't start right now. I mean, the AC kicked on, so I don't think the battery would be dead. I'm like, oh, duh. Like, there's gotta be an oh, duh moment right now. Sir, sir, we gotta be smarter than the tractor. I'm assuming it's good on diesel? Oh yeah, yeah, it's got a full tank. Normally if it's dead, because my tractor used to die all the time, just like this, and you bring a little jumper. It would be like, t -t 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 -t, you know, mm, click. Like this, yeah. this is giving me like a, hey, dumbass, this thing. Something's is, not in the some, right spot. Something ain't, ain't it. I don't even know what these levers do. I have to call it the Big Daddy Kirk. What happened to my tractor? This is Kirk, Rip. Your call has been. All right. I'm trying to think, who else do I know runs tractors? All right, let me call. Let me call this guy. Busy day today. Your call has been. All right, we got. I got one more idea. This guy, he's gonna answer. Dan, what's going on? Yo, what's up? Not a whole hell of a lot. Ordering trail cameras right now. What are you doing? Uh, attempting to get this tractor started and not quite sure why it's not starting. Just jumped in it, turned the key, AC kicks on, battery kicks on, but it just, it does nothing when you turn the key. Like, it doesn't click or grind or nothing. You got any ideas? Is that a clutch? There is a clutch. I've tried pushing that in. Is there any kind of a orange safety switch anywhere that would maybe need to be clicked one way or the other? You know, I'm not seeing anything oh oh hang on one second we got her it was the like shifter on the left side it was in forward and not neutral but the all the gears were in neutral and it showed neutral on the screen it's always something we got her we're good to go I appreciate it we're good baby we're all right I take back what I said you just can't have an idiot operator let's get to cut Oh, we're cooking now, boys. We are cooking. Well, first spot we're gonna go to is going to be by the feeder. It's a nice little straight area. I can kind of mow a little path for them. I don't know if they're gonna use it or not, but I think that camera is still messing up. I, that's the only camera I haven't been getting pictures of. Remember, they weren't eating it last time, yeah. so we'll go check the feeder too while we're over there. See if they've been munching or not. We're cutting, boys. We are cutting. Sheesh. I was just about to say we're gonna hit a rock at some point. Yep, I just sheared a rock. That's good. Oh, I just hit another one. Dude, I don't know if the deer have been using it. Very much going on right there. I don't think they have. I wonder what happened to them. This used to be like the hot spot. Now it's just like, man, they're not big fans of this area over by the cabin. We're doing good so far. I haven't broken oh, yeah. anything yet. We also need to weed whack this little patch here in front of this camera. That grass grew up real good, so now you can't really see what's going on. But it's all right, all right by this feeder. I don't think anything's using it though. That thing covers so much ground. Dude, 10 foot gets after it, son. Two passes in that whole area, it's just, it's good to go. All right, well, that's mode. We're gonna start making our way down. Ooh, she's a little bumpy. We're gonna start making our way down towards the pond. You guys stay tuned. Folks, I'm trying to crawl out of the tractor. We made it down to the pond. This thing is. Oh, a duck just got off the pond. Oh, really? Where? Where'd he go? He flew off. What? Woody? 
over there. Well, we got her down to the pond. It took us a long time. I'll be honest. I'm a, I'm a skid loader guy. This is just, this ain't the deal. But we're going to make work. I already bought it, so we better just get good at it. Get better at it, because I'm sure it, it, it won't get worse. Okay, I'll only get better at that. Yeah, that tire is looking, look at that raccoon poop right there. The tire is looking a little bit ob Is that normal looking? Maybe it is. See all like the little warps in it? Ooh. Is that not normal? I don't think so. I feel like that's not normal, no? Probably because it's so flat and it's just well, It's bulging. Yeah. Really? Well, that's not good. I probably don't want to do too much. Let me check the other side. I was just going to mow this, like, this tall area would be nice to be able to come up down to the pond, like train Lucy and stuff like that. But Kirk said tires are low, but I don't have an air compressor that can fill these. This one don't look as bad. It's still a little, it's a little wonky. Yeah, it's a little wonky. Yeah, the down here, it's it, it's it's low. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to do the minimum then, just so we don't break this thing. I don't want to ruin these tires. I don't, I don't even want to know what these tires cost. I don't even want to know. So hopefully I don't ruin them too bad. But we're going to go ahead and fire up the motor, fire up the drone. Ooh, look, some blueberries right over there. Do you like it? This actually wouldn't be, I mean, I guess we're down here like we'd scare them, but this wouldn't be a bad idea for a feeder right here. Like, come down, they get a, they get a little drink, they come in from the woods, get a little snacky snack. But I'm going to try mowing just a little bit, not too close to the pond. I ain't trying to sink this sucker. But at least just this area, mow this down a little bit and mow a trail. So that way, so when we come here, we can train Lucy or at least just get a little bit more access to the pond. So enjoy. coming in for land. What are you, West Davis? Easy, you gotta kill it still. Normally you can turn them over on their side. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, big no joystick guy? Yeah. Really? Makes her a little bit smoother. What kind of pro move is that? <laughs> Just laying her in the grass, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. Wait, look, it's cut, so we should be all right. It may help chop a little bit. Oh no, you got it. Shee, well, tires on the tractor didn't pop yet, so that's a dub. Uh, but we mowed this area, I mean, it looks like poop. I mean, obviously it was really, really long grass, but we got a nice area to hang out, okay? Come down, again, if you wanna train Lucy, chill out by the pond. I did attempt to back in a little bit, but as you can tell, she started getting a little, little squishy right here, so I wasn't trying to get the tractor stuck. I know I am notorious for getting things stuck. I was trying not to have that be today, because we have no equipment to really get a big track like that out, but I was able to back up. I did a little bit over there, but I was doing better over here. I just gotta get comfy. For, oh my gosh, look at all the bullfrogs. You guys are toast here once we start hunting these little suckers, but I just gotta get comfortable with this thing. It's it's super, super, super foreign. Even the other tractor I had was nothing like this. The other one was high, low, forward, reverse. This has like 69 gears. It's got two clutches, windshield wipers, and the whole thing is just uh, uh, confusing to me, but we got our mode down to where Lucy could run if she wants to jump, and again, we could just have like a hangout spot. Maybe if we were not building the pond up i'd say this would be a decent little food plot a little snack right next to some water wouldn't be too bad it's the only water on the property really anywhere we got her mowed down again i just got to get practice with this so we gotta fill the tires and i just gotta spend the day literally just spend a whole day crank the ac not don't crank the radio because they didn't give me one of them but crank some raycon earbuds or something and uh and just cruise the difference between when i got here this morning and to right now i feel like i'm 10 times better at driving this thing i still suck at it and it still scares the crap out of me i still feel like i'm gonna flip it and roll into the pond any second but i'm getting better it's just gonna take practice I just, oh, the skid loader has my heart. Nothing about that tractor makes me say, man, I would rather have this than the skid loader. Nothing. Other than if I wanted to mow a lot and if it was really flat, no bumps, no rocks. Basically, if I wanted to mow the world's largest lawn, make some hay or something, then this is great. This is perfect. Everything else so far, I feel like the skid loader is way up here as far as just being comfortable and agile and maneuverable and whatever, but it's okay. There's This has its time and place and I still, I didn't sell the skid loader, so I'm not, if I sold the skid loader, I'd be real bummed right now. We're just gonna have to tow it down here when we need it. We got to clear some branches. The trail from here all the way back to the cabin's a little overgrown. I was trying to use the tractor to uh, knock down some branches and that was just the biggest cluster I've ever I've ever been a part of. It's not very, uh, you can't go back and forth and turn and move. Like this is a straight forward or straight back piece of equipment. There's no maneuverability with this thing. So it's taking me a little while. And the mower's wider than the tractor. So although my tractor can fit between two trees, doesn't mean the mower can. And we got in a couple of those predicaments earlier and that was just a little bit of a doozy. But overall, I mean, I'm happy with it. Do I think it's a little overpriced for what I'm using it for? Yes. Considering pretty much everything, except I guess if we were to disc or something, my skid loader can do. And I already owned it and I think I'm better at it. But it's got its time. It's got its place. I think I just got to give it some time. If you guys have any tractor operating tips, 
or some videos online that I should watch before I kill myself, uh, you just, you let me know. This thing's quite the unit, but we're, we're making it happen, okay? We're becoming, fun, well, we're not becoming farmers, but land property management requires a tractor. I feel like any good land manager, I shouldn't say that, but like if you're a professional land manager, you probably have a tractor. So I'm like, all right, I'll just, let me just act like I'm professional. Let me have the equipment of a professional, even though I'm not one, not even close, but it definitely will have its time and its place as well the skid loader. But with the duo, with the duo, folks, we will be unstoppable against these freaking deer this year. So anyways, hopefully you guys at home enjoy today's video. Again, let me know. Got any tips? Big Sheila, we're gonna name it. Big Green Tractor. We need a name for this sucker. So go ahead and drop your comments down below. Hopefully you guys at home enjoyed today's video. Peace.